It's summertime, time to go on a break. Let me explain. This video is a break of not posting videos, so this video is the break. Then I'm going back into lockdown mode. In other words, don't expect more videos from me until schools are open again. But hey, keep watching to see my quarantine hair reveal happening at some point during this video. Yeah, I made that because finally, after 10 years of using this old laptop, I have a new computer and I have editing powers. OMG, check this out. Now I can freely use editing to hide the fact that I stink at presenting on camera. Wow, now let's do something with this hair, shall we? And while I'm trying to do whatever I'm trying to do here, and honestly, I don't know what I was thinking in my head, this look much, much better. But, well, to review some things that I have been doing during the lockdown and I want you to comment on what you want to know more about. Any of these things may become a video for you. I was challenged to draw with a mirror, so what I see is backwards. The result was okay, I filmed everything right before lockdown, but I'm finding it difficult to edit because it was fun to do, but it's not that interesting to watch, I think. We bought these acrylic markers and we painted some small rocks with cute results. It was fun and I still have a few more rocks lying around waiting to be painted. My three-year-old daughter made a drawing for me to paint and I made a drawing for her to paint. We colored each other's drawing. I was playing this old simulation I made some years ago. They are some plants that shoot their seed and mutate to adapt and spread. I love artificial evolution and simulations, so I remade this from scratch with more options and better performance, and this is a project I want to keep working on for sure. Since we moved into this new house barely a year ago, I have this little narrow space as my workshop. Over time I've been able to do some upgrades and it is still far from perfect, but I'm very happy with how much more comfortable and practical it is now. My younger daughter, who is one year old, made these watercolor splashes and lines, then I made some doodles over them with a marker. It turned out to be quite relaxing and fun. For her first birthday, her sister and I crafted a sensorial toy. It was a cube made with hammer beds and other materials to add textures and sound. But the biggest challenge by far has been to be a creative person in lockdown having two little girls and no external help. The impact it made in my creativity was devastating. And it was very frustrating to see a lot of people talking about being bored and having all this unexpected free time. It's something I feel compelled to make a video about, but I'm worried it could become an useless rant. Is any of this thing interesting to you? You want to know more about any of this? And back to me trying to do something with my hair. I think. I may need to use again my editing power. Wow. 
well, it was a long time making this video. And as I said, it's going to be probably a long time until I'm able to post another one. So don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell just for this time. Because you know, YouTube won't probably tell you when my next video is up. You can turn it off later, I don't mind. The thing is, you don't want to miss my next video because I'm going to 